Heartbreak is never easy, but it's a feeling that we all experience at some point in our lives. It can be difficult to pick up the pieces and move on after a breakup, but it's not impossible. In this video, we'll explore practical tips and strategies for healing from heartbreak and finding the strength to move on. Whether you're struggling to get over a recent breakup or still carrying the weight of a past relationship, there is hope for healing and finding happiness again. Let's begin the journey towards healing and moving on together. Number 1. Allow yourself to feel your emotions. When we experience a heartbreak, it's natural to have a range of emotions such as sadness, anger, and hurt. It's important to allow yourself to feel and experience these emotions rather than trying to suppress or ignore them. By acknowledging and accepting your emotions, you can better understand and process your feelings. This can help you heal and move on in a healthy way. However, it's important to remember that it's okay to feel these emotions, but it's not okay to act on them in harmful ways. If you find that your emotions are overwhelming or causing you to act in unhealthy ways, it may be helpful to talk to a therapist or seek support from friends and family. Number 2. Take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself is an important part of healing from a heartbreak. This can involve both physical self-care, such as exercising and eating well, as well as emotional self-care, such as setting boundaries and taking time for yourself. Some specific ways to take care of yourself might include Exercise and eat well Taking care of your body can help you feel better physically and emotionally Get enough sleep Make sure to get enough rest to help you feel more energized and clear-headed Set boundaries It's okay to take some time for yourself and say no to things that don't serve you Practice relaxation techniques this could include activities like meditation, yoga, or deep breathing. Talk to someone. Whether it's a friend, family member, or therapist, talking about your feelings can help you process your emotions and feel supported. Taking care of yourself is about making choices that promote your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. It's a crucial part of the healing process and can help you feel better and more able to cope with the challenges that come your way. Number 3. Keep busy. Keeping busy can be a helpful way to take your mind off of a heartbreak and give yourself a sense of purpose. It can be easy to fixate on your breakup and the feelings of sadness or hurt that come with it, but filling your time with activities can help distract you and give you a sense of accomplishment. Some ideas for things to do to keep busy might include Take up a new hobby or activity, volunteer your time or help others, spend time with friends and family, pursue your goals and aspirations, travel or try new things. It's important to find a balance between keeping busy and giving yourself time to rest and process your emotions. Remember to be kind to yourself and don't try to fill every moment of your time. It's okay to take breaks and give yourself time to rest and recharge. Number 4. Surround yourself with supportive people. Surrounding yourself with supportive people can be an important part of healing from a heartbreak. It can be helpful to talk to friends and family members who can listen to you, offer encouragement, and provide emotional support. Having a strong support system can help you feel less alone and give you the strength to get through difficult times. It can also be helpful to seek out a support group or to talk to a therapist who can offer professional guidance and support. It's important to surround yourself with people who are understanding, non-judgmental, and who genuinely care about your well-being. These people can provide a safe space for you to express your feelings and work through the challenges you're facing. Number 5. Try to learn from the experience. Trying to learn from a heartbreak can be a helpful way to gain insight, grow, and move on in a healthy way. It can be easy to focus on the negative aspects of the experience and to blame ourselves or others, but taking the time to reflect on what happened can help us understand the situation better and identify any patterns or issues that may have contributed to the breakup. Some questions you might ask yourself to help you learn from the experience might include. What did I learn about myself and my needs in the relationship? What did I learn about the other person and their needs in the relationship? What were some challenges or issues that we faced in the relationship, and how could they have been addressed differently? What can I do differently in future relationships to improve my chances of success? It's important to approach this reflection process with self-compassion and a growth mindset. 
Remember that we all make mistakes and that it's okay to not have all the answers. The goal is to learn from the experience and to use that learning to grow and move forward in a healthy way. Number 6. Practice Self-Compassion Practicing self-compassion involves being kind and understanding towards oneself, especially during difficult times. It involves recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and that it's okay to be imperfect. Self-compassion can be helpful when healing from a heartbreak because it allows us to acknowledge and accept our emotions without judgment. It can be easy to blame ourselves or to feel like we're not good enough after a breakup, but practicing self-compassion can help us recognize that these thoughts and feelings are a natural part of the healing process. Remember, self-compassion is not about being self-indulgent or letting ourselves off the hook for our mistakes. It's about acknowledging and accepting our emotions and our humanity with kindness and understanding. Number 7. Find New Interests or Hobbies Finding new interests or hobbies can be a helpful way to take your mind off of a heartbreak and to find joy in activities outside of your relationship. It can also be a way to meet new people and try new things. Some ideas for new interests or hobbies might include taking a class or workshop in something you've always been interested in, joining a club or group centered around a shared interest, volunteering your time or helping others, trying a new physical activity or sport, taking up a creative hobby like painting or writing. It's important to find activities that bring you joy and that help you feel fulfilled. Experiment with different things and see what resonates with you. Remember to be patient with yourself and to give yourself time to adjust to any new pursuits. Number 8. Focus on personal growth. Focusing on personal growth involves taking the time to work on yourself and to become the best version of you. This can be a helpful way to move on from a heartbreak and to find happiness and fulfillment in life. There are many different ways to focus on personal growth. Some ideas might include setting goals and working towards them, learning new skills or knowledge, working on self-improvement, such as developing better communication skills or working on self-confidence, practicing self-care and taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental well-being, engaging in activities that challenge you and help you grow as a person. Focusing on personal growth can be a rewarding and fulfilling journey. It's important to be patient with yourself and to remember that growth and change take time. It's also important to seek support and guidance from friends, family, or a professional therapist if you need it. Number 9. Seek a professional help. Seeking professional help, such as talking to a therapist, can be a helpful way to heal and move on from a heartbreak. A therapist can provide a safe and supportive space for you to explore and process your emotions and can offer guidance and strategies for coping with the challenges you're facing. Some specific ways that a therapist can help you heal and move on from a heartbreak might include providing a safe space to express your feelings and emotions, offering empathy and understanding, helping you identify and work through any negative patterns or behaviors that may be hindering your healing process teaching coping skills and strategies for managing difficult emotions, providing guidance on how to communicate effectively and set healthy boundaries. It's important to remember that seeking professional help is a sign of strength and courage. A therapist can offer valuable support and guidance on your journey towards healing and moving on. Healing from a heartbreak is a challenging but ultimately rewarding process. By practicing self-care, surrounding yourself with supportive people, and focusing on personal growth, you can find the strength and resilience to move on and find happiness again. Remember to be patient with yourself and to give yourself the time and space you need to heal. And don't be afraid to seek support from friends, family, or a professional therapist if you need it. With time and effort, you can heal and find the strength to move on. That marks the end of today's video. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this in the future. See you in the next video.